Hello! We went to BookCon and we got a lot of things. So we're gonna do a BookCon, BookCon haul. haul! First, we're gonna look at the many bags that we got. We have Harlequin books bags. Woo! We have Epic Reads bag, which we got at the beginning of the show. Book lovers never go to bed alone. Forever yours. Reverse. This is like a half a bag. Between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. And it's a walkman.com. And then we got Miss Parents Home for Peculiar Children. Children bags. So they had Sharpies at the booth and you could write what your particularity is. I didn't understand quite so I put my name and then Bethy put cheese and then my mom put gardening and then Pops I don't think understood so he didn't put anything. I went to the Adam Prince booth and got this amazing Nancy Drew bag. Nancy George and Bess. Which is really nice. On to the miscellaneous things. Oh, so there's a spinny wheel to spin, and you could get free books from it. But I ended up getting a car charger. <laughs> Wait, they don't even give you a cord? No. I th oh, yeah, sorry. I think it is double sided. And then we also got. <laughs> Butterscotch candies. This stacks ribbon, which I think you're supposed to put on your bookshelf because it has a sticker. I quat quarto books. What's a quarto? You I heard. Quarto. Oh wait, is quarto the company? Maybe. Where do you get that from? Now? I don't know. Was I didn't see it. But I probably put it by the classics section. Show this bag. The Euro Edition bag. Okay, and then we also got a beach ball from Source Books. There's a BFG booth where you could take a picture with a poster in the back. And then we also got Unbreakable Cycle by JonathanParksHorse.com. Copy Diem, Cease the Day bracelet. A Epic Reads sticker. Bethy got that. Mm -hmm. And then my mom got <laughs> Peppa Pig stickers for her classroom. There you go. We got a button from a machine, and I had all my 50 cents ready to go, and she's like, it, you don't need the cents, you just have to turn it. I'm like, oh, good. Free button. What does it say? It is a small child eating. We went to Bacon, and you're like going down the aisles. There was this aisle with a bunch of free stuff, and we're like, are, they, are they, these, these, these free? And they're like, yes! And we're like, oh, good. What comes in? It's a little Edgar Allan Poe journal that you can write in with quotes. But then it also comes with 10 posters. posters. They have quotes on it and they're really pretty. Ooh! Yes! So that was really nice. So we got yeah. a couple of those. Well, like you, me and Pop. Did you get this? Yeah, with the Epic Read sticker at the Epic Reads Lounge. And it's another journal. Mm -hmm. Just a little journal. I, at the Out of Print booth, I also got a Phantom Toll booth t shirt. Mm -hmm. ah! Which is very exciting. Okay, these were also by the Shakespeare books, the posters. Yeah, they're in little tubes that and were also then. free. And this one's oh, oh. Dream Clean Pigeons, Lampposts, and Squalls. Nice. Oh, and speaking of pigeons, the friend I was with, Zach, said she dissected a pigeon in high school. What? I would have been like, nope. So then also by the BFG was the post of it. It was really pretty, but then it got crinkled during the day. I went to the Ransom Rig signing line, which they you could also get your book signed, but then they didn't tell us, because I was like, there's a free item. So I'm like, I don't need to bring a book. But you could have brought a book. Then they got Tales of the Peculiar. On the back it has some things, and it's really nice. And I like Ransom Riggs. He has the thinnest face ever. It's like that. And spoiler alert for Rachel, <laughs> yeah. since she couldn't come, I got this lithograph, which also is going to have Sarah J. Moss signed, but then they didn't tell you that you go to the beginning of the day to get your ticket, so I missed out on that as well, and it looks like Rachel and Eli, so that is why I got it. Especially like right there. So then we get little pamphlets, tiny paper things. We got one from Penguin Teen with the Ricky and Steve quote on it and then the lie tree. So got a fault in our stars quote. When we were waiting in the really long line they had to go down an escalator to get into the book con. They were handing out these leaflets of the Epic Reads Publishers Weekly of the events. Okay, <laughs> they had like the things, the events that were happening that day mm -hmm. on it. Epic Reads one. Yeah, because you went to the Epic Reads lounge while I was yeah. at Maggie Steve Auto. What it is? I think it just. But it's coming up. There's an S excerpt from Stingray City Book Three. <laughs> What? Hello. And then my mug got classroom, everyone is a student and everyone is a teacher. Quirk books things from Miss Peregrine's bags. Macmillan is how you say it. A sticker of this book for Lynette because the guy 
I was trying to find what book to get, and I saw this, which is an actual historical events that happened, and the guy was there. He's like, yeah, he's like, I was like, would you recommend this book for me to get this to this lady? And I asked if it was cheesy. He's like, no, I'm not selling any of these today. And I'm like, so they're for free? And they're like, no. And I'm like, then why did you tell me about these things? So then I got her the sticker thing, so then maybe she could buy it. Then from Europe editions, there's a tiny postcard of one of their books. Oh wait, the Epic Reads also had a crossword puzzle in it. There's another poster that says, sharing makes everything better. Brandon Mall was actually there doing a signing. So this is a Fable Haven book, and it has like, different activities in it. And I think there's also a crossword puzzle. But there's like, coloring pages. Spinning wheel, Mama got to pick whatever she wanted, so she picked this kid book for her class. I don't know where we got this, but this is also a picture book. Oh wait, this is cool! I looked in it, and it doesn't have any words in it. It's just a picture story, oh, no. which is nice. Is it more of a comic one? Yeah, <clears throat> or a graphic novel. Oh yeah, and Neil Gaiman, Hansel and Gretel. Oh yeah, Pops won that by doing a Chewbacca impersonation. Yeah. So these are the ARC books yeah. that we're at that we got for free. Yeah, this one, Pops got this one spinning at PBS. It doesn't come out until July. And this one is all Hasten his um, razor gold, which, which is also the badge book of it. I also got lanyards when we were standing in line. I think Mama got this one. It looks just like... Oh, that comes out in September. And this one also comes out in September. So these are the books that we just got. Were free. The only one that I bought was from the Europe editions, which was Elegance of the Hedgehog, which I saw a booktuber who's studying in London, and she had this book, and I was like, I would like this book. <laughs> it has hedgehogs. I got the shack. It was just a free thing, and we also got the thing scanned. To me. Timmy failure. Mistakes were made, which also comes with tattoos, which we'll put on later with Betty's other tattoo. This is the one I won spinning the wheel. Lois Lane. I think it's the second book in this Lois Lane. And in the back, it has praise for the other one. Oh yeah. I think out. it's like teenage Lois Lane in Smallville. The astrologer's daughter for impersonating a chupacabra. Mm -hmm. So then this one was at um, the Candlewick thing, and they were all. Also free books. Well, this one is read between the lines. But then there was like triangle stacks of books, and I heard somebody say they were free, and I'm like, free because Michelle Nutson's evil librarian, one of my favorite authors that did the um, the Dragon of Trillian trilogy, which is the last one just came out this year. They had them for free, and I'm like, no way! So I sent her a picture on Twitter, but then Pops accidentally got another copy of it, but that's okay. And now on to the exciting signed copies. The first person that we saw in the booth, who was an author we did not know, but she was signing books. Mm -hmm. Here's to you, Zeb Pike by Joanna Parkhurst. She signed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this local picture book lady is like, are you local? I'm like, yeah. And she signed them both. Yeah, because yeah. um, Bethany and Mama got one signed. So. Did you get this signed? Because it says to Bethany. Oh no, I remember what this is. The place where we got the button, this country lady was like, like she, I think she was from Tennessee or something. She had like a really thick accent. And she's like, you'll hear the accent in this book. And I'm like, okay. And she signed it. I was with my ma, but then she signed it, Bethany. And her pen kept running out of ink. And she's like, the pen. <laughs> got the Ransom Riggs book signing. And then I was going to go to the Sarah J. Moss lithograph signing. But then, the, since they had poor planning, I couldn't go to that. Tahira Mafi, Ransom Riggs' wife, was signing too. So I just went into her line. Oh, wait, that's her wife? Oh, really? Yeah. Furthermore, I think it's a first chapter or free sampler that is available in 2016. But it was really nice because not a lot of people were there and you just went behind like this curtain which she was at the table and then she had like free tattoo spray tattoos of a fox in it. But I didn't get that. Grants and Riggs was just like chilling out in the corner. So it was like really chill. I like your it's the app that you put on Instagram. And she's like, I haven't been on Instagram in a long time. <laughs> and she was really nice. So yeah, she signed it. I went to see Lauren Oliver and this, you got a free arc of the book that doesn't come out until October and then it came in this box, signed it in this one and then oh, it's really about... cool but I'm not going to tell them about it because they got to see and be surprised. Okay so I go up there and she's like, have I seen you before? And I was like, no. And then she's like, I must have dreamed you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I got Maggie Steve order. So I was originally just gonna buy the Raven Boys, the first book. I read them all, but I don't own them all. So I was gonna get the first book. They gave the free a free copy of the Raven King, which I already have. So I was like, no! So now I have two copies of those, but then I got that one signed. If I'm getting two copies, I might as well have one that is signed. So that was nice. 
I can't find the hardcovers. They had all of them in hardcovers, but I'm like, not spending that much money. The Property Brothers. Yes, the whole family went to the Property Brothers signing. It was so long of a wait. Yeah, it was like an hour wait. And they kept coming out and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Sneak peek. Wow, look at that faucet. <laughs> and then we also went to the book explosion. Oh yeah, we went to the book explosion panel. Yeah. And we saw Christine, Jesse the Reader, and Kay Tastic. Yeah, there's also little ones we didn't know. Yeah, like Tasha Opolis, Maureen Kiwi, but we didn't see them. But then we waited forever to get a picture with them, and I was, hello! Because we took a picture together. I'm like, I mean, we are also crazy poodle ladies. And mm -hmm. she's like, oh, and then we were taking a picture. She's like, so what's your poodle's name? And I'm like, Toby and Bailey. <laughs> Speaking of Bailey, there she is. <laughs> Oh, wish you a tattoo. Mine says, Mercy Watson's number one fan is a pig. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> and then I have greatness and shenanigans. We actually get, we actually get the water outside. There you go. Oh. Outside. Yeah. Like, You're just like, let me use the dry side of the towel. Did you peel off the, the thing? Oh, I didn't peel off the sticky thing. I was like, it's not going. Oh, okay. no. Shenanigans is ruined. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, wait. You have to rinse it with water. Though. Okay, we see it. We also got a eraser with a pencil shaped as a hockey stick for the second book to the first book that we got signed by the one lady. 